I'm out here in Pensacola Beach today fishing with my family. My wife's looking for sand fleas right now. We're about to get set up. Target species are going to be pompano, whiting, redfish, black drum. If there's any jacks or Spanish crews around, I do have a lure to throw at them, so hopefully they come by. We just got a basic sandbar. There's a little bit of a rip right here, or cut. Might not be much of a rip current, but there's a cut there. And I'm going to put all my baits past the sandbar pretty much. I'm gonna get one right on it at the edge. Cast each one maybe 10 yards past that all the way out to the darker blue water out there. All right, and I got a pompano rig here and I got a piece of fresh dead frozen with a pink shrimp fish bite on the bottom dropper. And then on the top dropper, I have another piece of fresh dead frozen with a green shrimp fish bite. I'm gonna try to get it right at where they intersect. About right, about right there. That's, that's exactly where I wanted it, nice. All right, got a sand flea on the bottom dropper, and this dropper just has a bead on it. It's a green get em bead. And then on the top, I got a sand, little, little bitty sand flea with a sand flea fish bite. And I'm just going to throw this one out as far as I can. I'm going to get it way out in that darker trough and just see if the pump are cruising far today. Oh, really? What do you got? You see something? Oh, I see him way out there don't even worry about my lines man i see this dude running and there's a bunch of fish out there just cruising they're moving fast not sure what they are we're gonna throw though i don't think i went far enough they're moving fast whatever they are they're definitely fish though they're not stingrays i'm gonna run down the beach Wow, they're just too fast. There we go, hooked up on it. Nice. I saw them all chasing it too. Good head shakes on them. My wife's down there tending to my rods. I just kind of left her. She knows what to do though. She's a pro. That was a huge school. I'm curious to see what it was. They were cruising. Easily 100 fish in that school. And he just keeps going down the beach. Man, he's just walking, he's walking me far. It's a good sized fish, I can see it now. Man, that's why you always bring a lure out here. You never know what is gonna happen when you're surf fishing. You just kinda have to adapt every time you come out here. It's got, whatever it is, it's got a lot of energy, a lot of power. It does not want to come in. I think my drag's still too loose. I didn't preset my drag, so I'm kind of guessing. There's so much tension on it. I think it's a jack. I mean, I can see it now. Whatever it is, it's big. Easily about, it's pushing 30. At least that's what it looks like from here. Come on, I need to give him pressure. He's just taking his time. That's why I think it's a jack. It's just not running out of energy. I know he's gonna run again when he gets to the sandbar too. Come on, dude, you gotta be getting tired. These guys are just pure power. They really are. I'll tell you what though, on this Ninja 8 foot six, this is a blast. This will be the first jet, if I land it, ever caught on. I don't know if I'm able to get this dude up. Come on, man. Gotta use these waves. Come on, man, come on. Oh yeah. 
Get that wave right there. Come on, that next wave should do it. There we go, yeah! That's a nice jack right there. There's my foot for reference. Oh, he's a fatty. That guy is a fatty. He's got some shoulders on him. Hit the ES lure. Awesome fight. That was probably 10 minutes. Appreciate it, buddy. Epic fight right there. Oh, man. That's a beautiful fish, dude. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's get this good release on this guy and get in the water with him a little bit. All right, man. There he goes. Those jacks are pure power. That jack fight was epic. I ended up going, I don't know, 500 yards, maybe further down the beach. I was way down there. You can't even see where I was at. I couldn't see my own ride. There was hundreds of fish out there and a few of them saw that lure they started coming into it. I slowed it down. I kind of popped it a couple times and then it was fish on, man. But that's my first jack from a lure on the beach and it was amazing. I want to do it again. That's the lure I used. It is an ES lure. I bought it from Ninja Tackle. Excellent lure. You can, this is a one and a half ounce and I can easily throw that 100 yards on this eight foot six Ninja Dagger. This is my go-to rod for throwing lures at the surf. And I got it paired with a Battle 3 DX 4000 reel, and this is 20 pound suffix 832 line. I got a six foot 40 pound leader on there, and I tie that with this FG knot here. It's a slim profile knot. It goes right through your guys very easily. You won't even know it's there. And I actually do not use a swivel. It's just six foot a liter right to my lure. And the reason I like using a longer leader is because it keeps the fish off of your braid. And also you can tie on different lures without having to change your leader as often. Well, my awesome wife stayed behind to watch my stuff, but she said this rod got hit. So I'm gonna do a bait check on it. She said it didn't hook up. It just bent over one time real good. And it looks like we still got some bait on it. Add another small flea to that though. And if this rod got hit, it's a good sign. It was way out there. This is the one I threw as far as I could. Get it right back out there. All right, let me give him a little variety on this one. I got a couple live sand fleas on the bottom dropper. And then on the top dropper, I have some frozen shrimp and a sand flea fish bite. Just gonna keep that orange color going. And I'm gonna throw this one out as far as I can too. I'm gonna put two way out there and I'm gonna cover the other zones with my other rods. See if those pump are cruising in that middle trough. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, that's a decent fish. He definitely pulls some drag. Good head shakes on him. I don't think this is a pompano. This is definitely not a pompano. I wonder if we got another jack. Oh yeah, here we're in for a ride. Babe, I need some help. I need my wife to assist me. Just pull this down so I can get over it. I think we're on another jack. This is, this is not a pompano. It's another large fish. And I don't think it's a stingray because it has head shakes. It has nice, good, big, strong head shakes. So down the beach I go again. I think he popped off. Yeah, he popped off. Whatever it was broke off. My guess is another jack because this rod was way out there where those jacks were cruising. Oh, my hook broke, look at that. Yeah, that was a good fish. That, that is the first hook I've ever broke. And I don't even have that much pressure on it. That's about as much pressure as I usually put on a fish right there. I'm gonna swap that hook out though, cause there's nothing wrong with this rig. 
Just get a new hook, put it on there. There we go, good as new. Put some bait on there and get it back out there. And that, that hook that broke had shrimp and a sand flea fish bite on it. So I'm gonna put that back on there. The sun's gone down a little bit. So it's not as easy to see the fish that might be swimming by out there. So just do some blind casting. See if we can get on a Spanish, maybe another Jack. And I just, I'm just toss it out as far as I can and retrieve a little pop. There's nothing, man. There's nothing out here. No pompano, no jacks. Oh, there we go. I'm saying that, and then my rod's going off. Throw that in the cart. Hopefully it's still there. Yeah, he's still there. Nice, nice. That feels like a pop. My wife and kids are over there playing in the water. They probably don't even know what's going on. He's running in. He's still there, he's still there. He's just running in really fast. What we got, what we got? Now, you know what, that's a big whiting is what that is. Oh, that's a stud whiting right there. That is probably my personal best whiting. He went for the naked rig. It had pink shrimp fish bite. You can see it there in his mouth. Yeah, pink shrimp fish bite with a piece of shrimp on it. I just threw my threw this rod in the car. Didn't even reel it all the way in. Let me go ahead and reel it in so I don't trip over my line. Threw it down a little harder than I wanted to too. I just you get excited out here. You can't help it, especially when you got a whiting like this. He is 18 inch whiting. That is the biggest whiting I've ever caught. I do not have a scale with me, otherwise I'd weigh it. But this thing is 18 inches, man. Monster, look at that. I'm not gonna keep this guy. This is a breeder. I don't think he's gonna compete in the, in the Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle Tournament. So I'm gonna put him back so he can make more whiting. I gotta put a little revive on him. He's been in the water for a little bit. No, let me let me do it. He, he needs some help. There he goes. Wrong way, buddy. There he goes. Back in the deep. And where I caught that whiting, where that wave is coming up out there, and it's gonna break right there, right past where they're breaking. That's where that whiting was hanging out at. You wanna say hi to the camera? I wanna say. All right, my kids wanna say hi too. Here, say hi to this one. Hi. Hi. I know. Did you, did you have fun at the beach today? No? It looked like you were having fun. <laughs> Did you have fun at the beach, Ellie? Yeah. Yeah? What was your favorite part? Fishing. Fishing? You didn't even catch a fish. You played in the water all day. <laughs> like the water. Oh, how awesome. She does have a rod out here. She's got the runt rod. She uses it, but today she wasn't fishing. Got a beautiful sunset going on. It's gonna be a, just a perfect sunset. Well, it's been an awesome day out here on the surf, hanging out with my family. The fishing wasn't super hot or anything, but I am not gonna complain because laying in that jack on the lure and that monster whiting, those two fish alone made my day, honestly made my week. But we're gonna pack it up. We don't stay out here super late. The girls got school in the morning, so we're just gonna go ahead and go home, eat some dinner. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, take care and tight lines.